This assessment asks us to rationalize why the parent peak for anisole is so prominent in this molecule. The most common fragmentation pattern for ethers is alpha cleavage, where we break the carbon-oxygen bond on either side of the oxygen. Doing so on the right side would form a methyl carbocation, or on the left side would form a phenyl carbocation. Both of those carbocations are highly unstable. And because they're highly unstable, that fragmentation is not likely to occur. And if fragmentation is not likely to occur, then the parent molecule is most likely able to make it to the detector without fragmenting. And that's why for anisole, the parent molecule is the most prominent peak in this spectrum.